Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how quick and easy it is to self-host your NADN instance using Hostinger. Now, why Hostinger? Well, they don't pay me or anything. I kind of wish they did. Um, but the reason I'm choosing Hostinger for this lesson is because I have found it to be the quickest and easiest platform for doing this, not just for yourself, but also for client onboarding when you're creating NADN projects for them. And so that's why I'll be using Hostinger to demo how to self-host in today's lesson. But before we go into the tutorial, let's talk about why you should self-host because there's two big reasons. Reason number one is price and reason number two is flexibility. Now, first things first, price, what everyone cares about. NADN, if we are doing it monthly, you really have two options, the starter and the pro. Most people are gonna do the starter. We're looking at 24 bucks a month for 2,500 executions and you get five active workflows at a time. As for Hostinger, the similar plan is gonna be $9.99 a month and we're getting unlimited executions and unlimited active workflows. And so for those of you doing math at home, that's less than half the cost with more executions and more active workflows. So in terms of price, Hostinger definitely wins. Now let's talk about flexibility. What do I mean by flexibility? Well, first of all, when you decide to self-host, you then get to decide where your data goes, right? In this case, we're using Hostinger, but you have a number of different options available to you. Also, we have more flexibility when it comes to what we actually do inside of N8N because N8N, the native version on the N8N cloud does not give us access to as many community nodes. Now, what are community nodes? Those are nodes that people in the N8N community have created on their own to use inside of N8N, but they aren't officially approved by N8N themselves, which means I can't use them on the official N8N cloud, even if they work, even if they're super useful. But if I'm self-hosting, I can use them all I want. And for example, here on this GitHub page, awesome-n8n, you can see the top 100 community nodes n8n on a day-by-day -day basis. We're talking about things for WhatsApp, Zalo, Chatwoot, right? There's tons of different things that you probably need access to if you're running in any sort of AI agency that are only available on these community nodes. So that's also a huge boon for people who decide to self-host. So to recap, it's cheaper, I get more executions, I get more active workflows, and it's more flexible in terms of the amount of community nodes I get. Why doesn't everybody self-host? Well, simply, it's just easier to use the NADN cloud, right? Like, I just go on here, I click start free trial, I give them some money, I know the cloud's gonna work, it's super easy to update, I don't have to think about it. So ease of use is the biggest reason. Self-hosting, some platforms are a little more difficult than others, but Hostinger, and the reason why I talked about before, it's super, super easy. We're gonna knock this out in less than five minutes, and then you're gonna be up and running. So let's dive into it, and you're just gonna to go to hostinger.com, there's a link down below, and you're gonna create an account and get started. So once we're in Hostinger, we're gonna to go to my account. We're gonna create a new account with you guys. So I'm just gonna go and sign in through Google. We'll hit continue. Then we're gonna come over here on the left and we're gonna click VPS. We're gonna do KVM VPS. We're gonna hit get now. The operating system, you're gonna type in N8N and you're gonna pick this one on the left that just shows N8N with a thumbs up, not the workflows, not the queue mode. Hit select. Also in ter terms of your server location, just pick something that's near you, which has the lowest latency. We'll hit next. Malware scanner, you can keep that, um, it could be free. So for your root password, you need to choose something that makes sense for you and it has to be like 14 characters long. Just go ahead and pick one, but also write it down, have it available for use because you're gonna need it later at some point. Then we'll go to next. Now you're gonna choose your plan. I suggest just doing the 699, the KVM2 that'll give you enough power for what you need. Then once you get here, you're just gonna have to give your payment information and submit it. Now, once you set up your payment, it's then gonna create the server for you. It's gonna take a couple minutes. Then you're gonna see a button that says, go to the dashboard. You're gonna click that and you're gonna to get to a page that looks like this. Then you're gonna click on manage next to your N8N server. You can skip this. Now, once you're here, you're gonna hit manage app and this is gonna take you to your N8N home screen give it your account information, do a login, do a password, and then go ahead after you do all that, make sure you get the activation key. It should pop up in your email. Once you see that, you just click the link and it's gonna activate your N8N server for you. And just like that, you have your N8N self-hosted server up and running. But let me show you real quick how you can actually update your N8N instance. So you're gonna come back here to Hostinger and you are gonna go to browser terminal. You're gonna click the terminal, and this very frightening page with all this code looking stuff is gonna pop up, but there's only a couple things you have to put in there. So once you're inside here, you're just gonna write docker compose pull, and this is gonna download the latest version of N8N. So you're gonna hit that, and you should see something like 
this. If you don't see this, it's because you're already on the most updated version of NNN, but just remember these commands. So every week or so you can come in here and actually update it. And I'll put all these commands in the school as well. All right, once we've downloaded it, we need to essentially restart the server. So once all the polls are complete, you're gonna do docker compose down. And once that's been done, you're then lastly gonna do docker compose up and then dash D. And now your NNN server has been updated and is ready to go. So hop on back in. All right, now that you're inside your self-hosted server, let's talk about how you can get those community nodes I was talking about. So I want you to go down to the left where it says settings. So the three dots to the right of your name on the bottom left, hit settings. Go to community nodes. And then here is where you can get new nodes. So you're gonna come up to the right where it says install. And here you just need to put in the package name. So there's a couple ways you can find them. You can just click this and go to browse. And this is the official place to find all the community nodes, right? You can have it sorted by, you know, how popular they are, most downloaded, whatever. Or you can go ahead and check out that GitHub I showed you too, where it actually has it broken down by like type. So communication nodes, document nodes, browser automation, all that stuff. You click inside there and it will bring you to the actual NPM page. And so then to use something like this, what would we do? We're just gonna copy this right up here in the top right, come back into NADN, paste that in there, hit I understand, and then you just install it. And it's actually going to install the node for you so then you can then begin using it in your own workflows. That easy. And so there you have it. To recap, we talked about why you should self-host, pricing and flexibility. And then we actually went through the hosting your setup to self-host your own NADN server on your own. And as you saw, really, really quick, takes under five minutes. And that's the same sequence I use with my clients, right? Anytime I have a NADN workflow that I'm creating for someone, I actually have them go through this process of creating their own self-hosted server on Hostinger. So they really own everything that's going on in there. So hope that was easy. Leave any questions you have in the comments and good luck setting up your own self-hosted server.